Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting Mesner Media tutorial, we're taking a look at how to create a cinematic 2.35 to 1 crop inside of DaVinci Resolve. It's a really cheap and easy way for you to give your footage that cinematic feel that you've been going for. Now there are two ways of doing this. There's kind of a more complicated way, which I'm going to show you first, which teaches you how to figure out how to get your crop, and then there's a really, really easy way that I'm going to show you at the end. So without further ado, let's hop into DaVinci Resolve and get started. So here I've got a timeline of a couple clips just kind of randomly thrown in here. And we want to make these all look cinematic and cropped and all sorts of goodness. So the first thing we're going to do is go up to the top right hand corner of our screen and change clip to timeline. And what this is, if we add new node, we can see it's grading for our entire timeline over anything. If you're familiar with programs like Premiere and After Effects, it's basically an adjustment layer that goes over the top of your entire timeline. So to show you this, I'm just going to change my offset to something ridiculous. You can see it's on this clip, but it's also applied to these other two clips. Super handy. Just undo that. So we're going to use this to make our crop for all of our layers at once. We're going to go over to our sizing tab, and then click on blanking, and this will get us to our crop. So you can see I adjust the top and it gets there. But we want it to be exactly 2.35 to 1. So how do we figure that out? Because there's no easy button on here. The best way to do that is to actually do some real world math. So I'm going to pull up a calculator real quick. And here, since I know the dimensions of my timeline are 1920 by 1080, and I know that the ratio, since it's in the name, is 2.35 to 1, what I can do is divide 1920 by 2.35, and that is going to be our vertical resolution. I'll say 818 just because it's a little bit easier. So what do we do with that? Typing 818 in any of these boxes won't make a crop right for us. What we do is we take... 818 and subtract that from 1080 and then we get 262 and what this is is the difference between our current vertical resolution and our desired resolution so we've got 262 now you can see our controls here for top and bottom start at zero and go to 1080 so that's obviously our pixel count from top to bottom so just typing 262 in one of these boxes will get us technically a 2.35 to 1 crop but you see it's just on the top there and that's not what we want what we do instead is we divide this by two, and then we get 131. So we will take 131 from the top. Great, and if you can subtract 131 from 1080 inside your head really easily, go ahead and do that. But I'm gonna cheat because I'm doing tutorials and most of my mental resources are being taken up by trying to talk and type at the same time. So 949, there you can see we get our perfect 2.35 to one crop going right along in there and it's on all of our clips. Now say you do that and you say, I don't like the framing of this shot anymore. What you can do is change timeline back to clip and in whichever node you feel like, you can make sure you're on your sizing tab still and then change your tilt up and down. And make sure you don't go too far because then you'll get extra black space at the bottom. But I see now it's cropped much more the way I want it to. And you can just change this on whichever clips you want also. Got this one looking great. Now know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Theo, that's really great, but that's a lot of work. And I don't want to do that every time. So I will show you the really easy way to do it now that we know sort of the more complicated way of getting there no matter what. I'll go into my timeline and just hit reset all grades and nodes. And from here, you're going to be blown away. It doesn't matter if you're in timeline or clip here. You just go up to color, output blanking, and then you can choose whichever ratio you want. So 2.35 to 1, boom, and it applies to all the clips just that easily. And of course, our tilt works the exact same way as before. So that's really quick and easy how to give your footage that extra cinematic feel that you've been scouring YouTube for all these hours. And it's pretty simple and quick. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, be sure to give it a like. If you didn't, be sure to give it a dislike. No matter what, tell me your feedback down in the comments below because I always love hearing the feedback. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the Meester Media YouTube channel. If you want even more Meester Media stuff, we've got links for social media stuff down in the description below. While you're in your various social platforms, be sure to share this video with your friends so they can see how to make their videos even more cinematic super easily. Once again, I've been Theo with Meester Media. I hope you had a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.